Sergei Skripal, a former Russian intelligence agent, and his daughter Yulia are still fighting for their lives, poisoned with a nerve agent nearly a week ago. But how, where, and by whom? Still unknown. This is the street where Skripal lives. The security cordon now extended as authorities are said to be investigating whether the pair were poisoned at the house. The British policeman who was first on the scene after the nerve agent attack is believed to have visited the house a day later and became seriously ill himself. The investigation is also widening to include this cemetery. Forensics teams and officers in hazmat suits were seen removing objects from the graves of Skripal's wife and son. It was Alexander's birthday last week and Yulia had flown in from Russia. Did the two come here before getting sick? Police found the pair unconscious on the bench last Sunday. This new surveillance footage is believed to show their last moments before falling sick. Yulia is seen ahead of her father. Minutes later, a police car speeds down the alleyway. The UK's top military research facility is racing to identify the origin of the nerve agent. It's not the sort of thing you can knock up in your back shed. This looks very much like a state-sponsored event. The prime suspect, Russia. Sergei Skripal was convicted of spying for Britain in 2006, then sent to the UK in a spy swap. Russia fiercely rejecting any suggestions it was involved. Now there is an emergency government meeting scheduled for later this afternoon where the Home Secretary will be briefed on all of the latest in this investigation. The UK vowing strong action against whoever was responsible, but guys, I've spoken to a lot of experts about this, a lot of sources, and they say tracing this back to any individuals, any governments, is not going to be quick, and it certainly won't be easy, guys. All right, Lucy, thank you.